In this next section, we're going to take a look at actual details on how do I apply for the Master's in Counseling Psychology Art Therapy Program, and we'll also take a look at some of the details of the prerequisites to get into the program. To begin the application process for the Master's in Counseling Psychology Art Therapy Program, begin by filling out the online application form at www.adler.edu. There you're going to see the six prerequisites for the course, which are a bachelor's degree, a GPA of three or higher, the equivalent of 12 semester credit hours in bachelor level psychology coursework, the equivalent of 18 semester credit hours in studio art, a portfolio, and coursework or volunteer work experience that involves using counseling related skills. Prospective students often have the most questions about the 18 studio art credits prerequisite. The first thing you need to know is that you need at least 12 studio art credits to begin the program. The other six can be completed during the first year of your academic program. The 18 semester credit hours in studio art can be obtained in three ways. Number one, through courses at a traditional art school. Number two, through non-formal courses at places like community centers or private lessons, and number three, through a portfolio review. The first kind of studio art credits you can submit are those you obtained through courses at traditional art schools, for example, Emily Carr here in BC, or in arts courses through universities. For these, you would submit your official transcripts from these schools to admissions, and they would show your course and the number of credits you obtained. The second way of obtaining studio art credits is through non-formal courses at places like community centers or private instructors. For this type of credit, you would submit course descriptions that include who the teacher was and how many class and studio hours the course required. You would then need a letter from your teacher verifying when you took the course, what mediums you gained proficiency in, and how many total hours you worked. You would then submit this letter to admissions. 15 hours of studio time equals one studio art credit. The third way of obtaining studio art credits is by submitting your portfolio for review by a registered art therapist registered with the American Art Therapy Association, or an ATR. The art therapist can assess and verify the degree of proficiency demonstrated in your portfolio, and then she can write a letter granting up to six studio art credits for your work. You would then submit this letter to admissions. Now let me talk for a bit about the volunteer or work experience that's a prerequisite for this course, which will demonstrate your counseling capacity. This might be experience you gain from volunteer work at crisis centers, hospitals, girl guides, or you might have actually been working in the field doing counseling. What we're looking for here is that you are able to demonstrate that you have a capacity for counseling. We also want to make sure that you know that you like helping people before you embark on a two-year graduate degree to this end. Now let's go to one of the prerequisites for entry into the Master's in Counseling Psychology Art Therapy program that usually has the most frequently asked questions, that is the portfolio. Hopefully I can answer all of your questions in the next couple of slides. The basics about the portfolio prerequisite is that you submit one portfolio of 15 images in three or more different medium. They need to be original artwork and they need to demonstrate competence with the art medium and commitment to the art making process. Now the first question usually asked about the portfolio and when people begin to think about entering the MCP art therapy program is, do I have to be an artist? And the answer is no, you don't have to be an artist. You simply have to show that you know the basics of how to work with three different medium. This portfolio is very different because you simply show that you can express your feelings in a variety of medium and that you have competence in working in three different medium. So now let me say very clearly, yes, you can make a portfolio. One of the first blocks many students, particularly those coming from non-arts background, encounter when they consider this program is their belief systems that they can't make a portfolio. 
but here's why you can. Remember as you begin making your portfolio that this is a portfolio for art therapy rather than for a program in fine arts. So the emphasis is on your ability to connect creativity and emotions rather than on aesthetics. The emphasis is on your ability to express yourself in three different mediums rather than your ability to make a pretty picture. You still need competency with the art materials, but the competency is for a very different purpose. Your portfolio will include photographs of 15 examples of your original artwork in three or more different mediums. The types of media accepted for inclusion in the portfolio include drawing, painting, mixed media like collage or fabric arts, sculpture, and carving. Photographic art, performance art, therapeutic scrapbooking, and other forms of art making may also be accepted in your portfolio. Please inquire with admissions if you're unsure of acceptance of a particular form of art that you do. You can submit your portfolio on a flash drive to admissions. You can either drop it off or mail it in and put it to the attention of admissions and our address is 520 Seymour Street, Vancouver, BC, Canada, V6B3J5. A typical portfolio is submitted in the form of a PowerPoint, which includes an introduction slide, an outline slide, 15 slides of images, and a conclusion slide. The introduction slide usually includes your name, contact information, the date, the program you're applying for, and an image. The outline slide is usually a list of all of the titles of the images on your slides. Sometimes people include the type of medium in the outline as well. Each of the 15 slides of your artwork usually include a photograph of the piece of art, the title of the image, a description of the size of the image, a description of the medium used to create the image, and a short paragraph connecting the image to emotions. On the concluding slide, students usually provide their contact information again, a concluding image, expressions of appreciation and any credits to people who helped with the creation of their portfolio. Be sure to check out the examples of successful portfolios of students who did gain admission to the Masters in Counseling Psychology Art Therapy Program at Adler University Vancouver campus. Also, please remember we are a small university and we pride ourselves on being able to help our students personally. So if you have any further questions about the portfolio or any of the prerequisites, please email us at vanadmissions at adler.edu or call us at 236-521-2409. We really look forward to seeing your work. Now, once you have your application in, it will be reviewed, and then you will be called in for an interview if we consider you as a strong candidate for the program. I want to stress again the importance of getting your application in early, even if you still have some of the prerequisites to do, since often, you can complete them before the program starts. Because of continuous admissions, you want to ensure that you apply early. If you still need to complete prerequisites, the admissions team can work with you on the possibility of getting a conditional acceptance. That is, acceptance to the program is granted as long as you complete the prerequisites by a specific date. After you complete the interview, your application will once again be reviewed and then you'll be informed with regard to whether you're accepted or not. If you are accepted, you then become a student at the Adler Masters in Counseling Psychology Art Therapy Program. Ta-da! So your place at our table is waiting. Begin with making your online application and we look forward to connecting with you. Remember that we enjoy making personal connections with all prospective students, so feel free to contact an admissions advisor here at Adler University, Vancouver campus. 
You can email vanadmissions at adler.edu or call us at 236-521-2409 for more information.